Well, Sunday's second presidential debate had a lot of memorable moments, but Americans seem to be falling in love with one audience member in particular. 34-year-old Ken Bone was one of the undecided voters selected at the town hall-style debate. He's an operator at a coal plant in Illinois and asked the nominees about their energy policies. Many posted about him online, delighted by his red sweater and images of him snapping pictures on a disposable camera. So he's a very lovable personality. He's done quite a few interviews since then. He's got a great sense of humor about the whole thing. Uh, one thing to clear up, the disposable camera, everyone's like, why would you do that? Where did that come from? They still from? make those? Yeah, <laughs> they do. And they weren't allowed to bring in any sort of technology into the debate arena. So if okay. they wanted a picture of the event, that's what they had to do. But makes sense. Uh, he did say, Kim, that he didn't find out about people tweeting about him or anything because of that until after he got out. And then it's like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Look and at it's all just, these people. It's taken off. And his Twitter account has blown up, too. He has like 85,000 followers and he had overnight. And seven before. <laughs> yeah. So, I, you know, there's something really charming about all of this to me. I just look at Ken Bone and I think he just oozes this Midwest charm, you know? I mean, he's got this sweater. He's not afraid to just kind of, you know, laugh with the situation. He even said that his wife helps him get dressed. I mean, it's. I think the whole thing is just people see him and they see a little bit, they see a family. And it's, it's, I don't know. There's, some, there's something that people are latching on to, Jason. I, people are making fun of Ken Bone is what's oh, happening. Come the, on. Some people are really being sweet about it. And Ken Bone, let me tell you, every interview you watch of him, you're like, gosh, I just love you, you even like more. Him. He's but laughing along with him. Yes, he is laughing along with him. But make no mistake, people latched onto Ken Bone mm. because he's kind of a dopey looking, and I say this with affection as a dopey looking guy, <laughs> he is a dopey looking, balding, overweight guy. Hi, welcome to the club, Ken. It's a good, it's a, it's not a bad place to be. But I'm just saying like, if this were a woman, this would never happen. If this were, I mean, it's only because he looks funny and people are making fun of him and it doesn't sit right with me because he does, he's a great, American, he asked an excellent question in the debate mm -hmm. about energy policy. Like, he talked more about the issues than the candidates. And I feel a little sad well, that I, I think I people think are mocking he, him. He, he, I think maybe it started out as perhaps mocking him, but he he took control of it and mm -hmm. he owned it and he's like getting the last lap at the end of the day and you know look at him he's on all these networks being interviewed left and right and i think he's having a ball with it just like chewbacca mom you this, know she's loving it <laughs> this might have started out that way i do think that now i mean so many of people I, I think like talk show hosts are kind of like we love you so now it's like kind of the nerd that was taken under the cool kids wing and it works a little more. Don't make it sad. That, it's a that little bums, sad. Your, your take bums me out. It, I, I'm sorry. It bums me <laughs> out, too, because I don't like it. I don't like yeah. it. I think people are like, you're edge of this moment, and people are people are ripping on him. I don't well, like it. Uh, don't his, like his it. His sweater, by the way, that, that red one, yeah. now sold out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a hot Halloween costume. It, in regular sizes. If he could find a way to make money off of this. He wants his own mustache wax line. Oh. That's what he would like. So someone make go. that happen.